Good morning, everyone. I have a special treat for all of you on this brisk Sunday morning. When I first brought you to Plainview One, it was a hole in the ground, and I promised you through the new construction series, I was gonna walk you through every step of every phase, and today, we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna show you the finished build. Let's go. Right now, we're standing in our two-story entry foyer, and I kinda lied to you guys. We're not 100% complete. Out of respect for the next buyer, I always leave one coat of poly on the floors, and I leave the touch-ups until the end so that they can truly enjoy a brand new product. Right now we're standing in a large living space. I kind of combine the living room and the family room in this build. This is our feature wall over here. And if this is too modern of a look for our buyer, I left the gas line below and they can get a traditional built-in gas fireplace with a built-in. I like to give people some options and this way they feel like they put the final touches on their home. Some beautiful trim detail throughout and a crucial feature here, which is the guest suite with a full bath on the first floor. I found that a lot of our buyers will not even be interested in something if it doesn't have that guest suite on the first floor for mom or dad or a guest or maybe even for an office. But this is a feature that has become increasingly popular, at least in the areas that I work in. Coat closet right there. I put a light in every single closet of every house that I build. It's a little touch. It costs like 30 bucks but it makes a big difference. It's not so easy to put that light in afterwards. Now we're standing in our open concept living room and dining room, a little modern, but also very classic, very timeless. I love this ceiling detail. I was a little bit concerned about this being a little bit too open of a floor plan. So this ceiling helps you to define the space between the kitchen and the dining room. And this kitchen speaks for itself. White shaker cabinets, soft closed doors and drawers, marble backsplash. I love this countertop. It's made by Pentel Quartz. Frigidaire gallery appliances, built-in microwave, beautiful island, and just, man, I wish I had this kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. Now we're on the second floor, and something that I like to do whenever possible is have a wide hallway. It really makes the spaces feel larger. And in this case, we were able to sort of put the rooms around the hallway and have this hallway that's five feet wide, which is a lot wider than usual for a house this size. And it gives it a nice, bright, airy feel. Uh, in addition, something that I really love about this house is the colors of the walls and the floor. And once we get that last coat of poly on the floor and the last coat of paint on the walls, it's really gonna pop. It's a nice light gray color with a rich medium brown, kind of dark stain on the floor, but not too dark. And on this floor, we have three bedrooms, a nice big laundry room, and a beautiful bathroom. I love the look of this bathroom. I picked up a little different style with this vanity and the tile. It's light and the different staging elements kind of really bring this bathroom together. And now we're gonna go into the master, which is 100% my favorite room in this house. It's tremendous. The sleeping area is enormous. This is gonna be the bed wall over here. And with every house we build, I pre-wire every TV area, so the bedrooms, the living room, and if there's a finished basement in the basement, with uh, the wiring that you need to either do it the old-fashioned way with a cable box below, or run Cat6 to every location so you can wall mount your TV, have all your boxes downstairs in the basement or in a media closet, and have a nice clean look of just the TV on the wall. So as you can see, this room is tremendous and we have a walk-in closet over here. And way back at the beginning of this episode, of this vlog, I should say, I brought you to this bathroom and I said, this bathroom is gonna be something epic when it's done. And it came out beautiful. You have this beautiful soaking tub centered to the window, nice big walk-in shower with a bench. I got the toilet off to the side with some privacy for that and a double vanity with a Carrera marble top. I really just love the light and bright look of this bathroom. It's modern, it's clean, and I really don't see this one going out of style anytime soon. Something that really sets us apart from our competition is that we don't stop our curb appeal at the front curb. I really truly like to finish a property from corner to corner, and this build is no exception. We have sod in the backyard, PVC fence all around, this beautiful paver patio, and my goal is basically, from the moment you move into one of my builds, you get to enjoy the living spaces both inside and outside. Part in the leaves in the fall, but I can only get a landscaper here once a week. But as you can see, every single corner of this build is perfectly executed. 
And I just want to thank all of you again for coming along on this tour. I'm really excited about this build coming on the market and I'm looking forward to getting into contract soon. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate. Have a great day, everyone.